Right now, the New York Seascape team is on the south shore of Long Island, and we are implanting acoustic transmitters in juvenile sand tiger sharks. We caught this bluefish just this morning. We're gonna find out what they're interested in eating. The sand tiger shark tagging program allows us to gather baseline data about wild populations of sharks and at the same time monitor their movement to take useful information from the wild and apply it to the sharks that we have at the aquarium. It is all on Jim. It is all on Jim. We use a circle hook and we'll catch them right on the outside of their lip so that we can cut the hook out rather than going into the belly of the fish. Oh, we're on. Oh, no. Holy cow, this is that big one we lost. Gosh, oh, that Jake. is a big one. OK, Jake, here we go. Wait, no. be careful. Your biggest danger is getting bitten by the sharks. They don't know what's happening to them. In an effort to get away, they'll yeah. rake with their mouth open. And you got to move quicker than him. Send me a Knock that off. Nothing. No tag red. All right, new shark. This is an animal that we have not encountered before. So she's getting the full treatment. 165. 165 is total. She's getting a blood sample taken. She's getting a pit tag inserted, which is basically like a barcode so we can easily identify her. And she's getting an acoustic transmitter surgically implanted in her abdomen. No biting. Acoustic transmitter emits a unique series of pings. So we'll be able to know which shark we are hearing. She needs to fall asleep a little more. Start. We turn the shark upside down. It tends to cause them to go into a state referred to as tonic immobility. Basically, the shark almost goes to sleep. They never react to the incision. Time. So we don't think it really causes much pain to these animals, if anything at all. What? That's it. She's ready to go. There we go. She did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. She goes. Adios, muchacha. Excellent. Good one. That's ah, fantastic. Yes. yes.